Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm really looking forward to this video today, filming this video talking to you about Bakuchiol and Mothbane. You've probably heard a lot about them here on my channel, just out there in social media. Uh, regarding these two ingredients, because they are being called botanical retinols or botanical retinol alternatives. So we're going to dive into both of these ingredients today and I'm going to talk to you about my favorite products that I am currently using Using that contain Bakuchiel or Mothbean. Before we dive in though, I do want to talk about Whole30, uh, just to take a little segue here. Um, I am doing the Whole30 regimen protocol with my husband. Um, I'm not being super strict. I have tinkered with it just a tiny bit just to really suit my personal needs. Uh, but I was just wondering if you guys might be interested in a video where I talk about Whole30, why I decided to do it, why we decided to do it together. Together. Um, again, sort of like the tweaks that I've made to it and just recipes I've been enjoying, how it's been going, grocery lists, that kind of a thing. Um, I have found in doing my own research that these YouTube videos regarding Whole30 do tend to be pretty popular. So if you are interested in a video about Whole30 and my Whole30 journey, definitely let me know down below. And then I do want to let you know that at the end of this video, I will be talking about another giveaway. I'm calling this my giveaway giveaway basket, but I do have several beautiful products in here from one of my absolute favorite brands. So if you want to enter the giveaway, stay tuned to the end and I'll give you all the details. So let's go ahead and dive into the topic at hand. I'm going to start with Bakuchiol. And just to let you know, Bakuchiol has been used for hundreds, if not thousands of years in traditional Chinese medicine, as well as in Ayurvedic medicine. So in China and India, they have been using this ingredient for years and years and years. Um, what Bakuchiol is, is an extract from the Babchi plant, and Bakuchiol contains meroterpene phenol, and phenols, as you've probably heard on my channel and elsewhere, phenols are really powerful antioxidants. So what you're going to see with Bakuchiol is an increase in collagen production, decrease in fine lines, elasticity will be improved, firmness is improved, um, overall reduction in photo damage, as well as anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. And because Bakuchiol has these anti-inflammatory and antibacterial actions, it makes it a really good option for people who have acne. So that list of benefits is very similar, if not identical, to what you find from retinoid and the actions that retinoids do have. I just want to make it really clear that the chemical structure of Bakuchiol and of moth bean extract are not the same as retinol or retinoids, but they are, and Bakuchiol in particular is considered a retinol and analog because it has the same type of action and it does set that retinoid pathway into action. Now Bakuchiol has not been studied as intensively as retinoids have, but there are some really good studies out there, case studies in particular, and I found this one on PubMed. I will try to remember to link it down below, but if I don't, all you have to do is Google Bakuchiol and PubMed and you will find this article. And what they were looking at was for 12 weeks, people used Bakuchiol in 0.5 0.5% twice a day and they had very similar results to using retinol. So it is a pretty compelling ingredient. But even though Bakuchiol does have similar effects to retinoids, it has other benefits in that it is more photostable. You don't have to worry about the pH of the formula. So formulators are able to use other actives like vitamin C and not worry about changing the pH of the formula. Um, it's not going to photosensitize your skin. And in general, people have an easier time using Bakuchiol because it does not dry out your skin. It doesn't irritate your skin as retinoids can do when you're first retinizing um, as your skin's getting used to it. If you're so, looking for another reference to learn more about Bakuchiol in your skincare, I definitely recommend checking out Dr. Sam Bunting's video specifically on Bakuchiol. She goes over like the seven top reasons why she loves Bakuchiol. And in fact, she does have a product that has azelaic acid and Bakuchiol in it. I actually just placed an order for it because I'm really, really interested in seeing uh, how it works for my skin. I do love azelaic acid. I have used it in the past. I do have a prescription, or actually I should say my family has a prescription for 15% strength azelaic acid. My husband and my sons tend to use it a little bit more, but sometimes I get just sort of these little blemishes. I just had one 
a couple days ago that was kind of irritated and I just put it on overnight and then I wake up in the morning and my skin is just completely calm in that area. I love azelaic acid. I'm really enjoying using Bakuchiel, so I'm super intrigued to try her product. I think it's called like her brightening serum or something like that. But in the meantime, let's talk about the Bakuchiel products that I do have right now. That First up is the Bybee Boosters, the Bakuchiel Booster. This is an incredible value. This is $10 for 15 mils, definitely the best value of all the products I'm gonna be talking about. It is 1% Bakuchiel and olive derived squalane. So it is a higher percentage than what was used in that study that I was telling you about. But if you dilute it, you can get yourself to that 0.5%. And it is considered a booster, so they're not saying that you should use it on its own. I actually made the mistake of using it on its own while I was also trying another product, and I did get some irritation irritation. I'm suspecting that it was the other product that I was using, which I cannot remember which one it was. It was a couple months ago, but I still have not dove back into this product all that much. I have been using it as a booster just every now and then. I think that it's been okay for my skin in terms of irritation. I will talk about this a little bit more as I get further into this bottle, but I do think this is an incredible value and I think it's a great way to see how your skin does with Bakuchiol, but just be aware that it is 1% concentration whereas that study was looking at 0.5 percent concentration uh, twice a day so let's talk about the texture of this product you'll see it is kind of on the thin runny side as far as oils go I personally don't love squalane all by itself because I don't feel like it absorbs into the skin as quickly as I would like it to so you definitely want to either be putting this in another product or laying down a toner or an essence first to really help with that absorption and again like I said you just cannot beat the price on this I think is a wonderful sort of entry product if you are interested in experimenting with Bakuchiol. So next up is one of my favorite brands, Earthwise Beauty, and their Bakuchiol product is the Black Locust Firming Concentrate. Now this one is definitely on the more expensive side, especially after just talking about the Bybee, which is really a great value. I do think this is a great value for the amazing ingredients that are in here, but it is expensive. It is $86 for 15 mils. So definitely the most expensive product here that I do have when you break down price per milliliter. But having said that, Ava does an incredible job of sourcing beautiful ingredients. She uses exquisite oils and extracts. Also in this product is uh, sea buckthorn berry, lupin seed, acai berry, and calendula, just to name a few. There is a lot of information around Bakuchiol in terms of it possibly being endangered or in danger of being endangered. If you go to Ava's website, she actually talks about her sourcing and how her source is very ethical in how they do harvest this wild harvested ingredient. Like I said, it comes from the Bobshi plant. I don't know if I mentioned, but Bakuchiol Cuchiel, the extract actually comes from the seeds and the leaves. So she goes way in depth into their sourcing and the harvesting practices regarding Bakuchiol. So if you want to try Bakuchiol, but you want to make sure that you really, really trust the source of the Bakuchiol, I highly recommend Earthwise Beauty. Just head over to her website and check out all that information because Ava really does pride herself on her sourcing and making sure that it's ethically sourced. And let's talk about the texture of this. As you'll see, the color is just absolutely beautiful which really speaks to the potency of the oils that she's using she always uses um, unrefined cold pressed oils and this one has such a beautiful creamy texture I mean it is an oil but it has more of like a creamy type of texture absorbs into the skin beautifully that's never an issue and I just love how it makes my skin feel no irritation I do want to say this one also has 1% uh, concentration of Bakuchiol but I have never had had any issues with irritation. So I absolutely love this oil. It is just gorgeous and such a beautiful experience, especially if you're wanting to try Bakuchiol. Next up is the Pratima Bakuchi Skin Brightening Oil. This is $45 for 15 mils. And in addition to the Bakuchiol, it has almond oil, frankincense, lavender, saffron, mangista, and trifala. I don't know if I'm saying those correctly. Those are Ayurvedic herbs. And I do want to let you know that Pratima, the woman who formulates this, is an Ayurvedic practitioner. So she is from India. She apprenticed with an Ayurvedic physician in India when she was quite young. She also has degrees in science, botany, chemistry, and Ayurvedic medicine. 
Um, in the 70s, she honed in on skincare. And then in 1980s, she started her skincare formulations. So when you're talking about the OGs of green beauty, I mean, she has been around for quite a while in this space before there were definitions for this space like clean beauty green beauty she's now around 82 years old i think she practices in new york that is where her clinic is and i have been there i've never actually had a treatment from them but i went to the store like the boutique that they have it is beautiful i highly recommend going there if you do find yourself in new york so let's just look at the texture of this this one was kind of on the thinner side it absorbs really quickly i will say that it does have quite a strong scent i'm not a huge fan of of saffron so unfortunately this product doesn't really work that well for me but the texture is beautiful I love how it absorbs into the skin I love supporting the people who are doing these formulations and it is of their culture I really want to support that I just wish that I like the smell better uh, since the scent doesn't really work for me I will be giving this away to the person who wins the giveaway if you want it I know not everybody wants to use products that have already been used but this is quite sanitary because it's in a dropper so if you're interested in this and you win the giveaway I will include this as well so now we're gonna move on to creams I have two that I really really love a lot the first one I'm going to talk about is the AO skincare raw nurture PM treatment I got this at Credo just kind of on a whim during their 20% off sale. Um, it is $75 for 30 mils. It is refillable though. And I think the refills are $60. So that does help decrease the price a little bit. Uh, this is a New Zealand brand and they have some beautiful actives that are indigenous to New Zealand like red algae, harakeke seed oil, kiwi seed oil, manuka honey. There's also vitamin C in the form of THD in here. There's lactic acid, plant stem cells, bakuchiol of course, and then peptides. So when I read the ingredient list when I was just sort of doing some shopping, you know, window shopping at Credo during their sale, I knew I really wanted to get it and try it. And I really, really love this. Now it does say for PM and I think that's because it has lactic acid in it, but I use it in the morning and the night. I'm just super careful about using sunscreen when I do use it in the morning because lactic acid, glycolic acid, the AHAs can make your skin more sensitive to the sun. You'll see here that the texture is kind of that thick, slightly gel type texture, but as you blend it onto your skin, it absorbs really quickly, leaves your skin really soft with almost like a satin finish. I don't want to say matte, but it is is definitely more matte to satin type finish not so much like super glowy that's why I think it's a really great option for the daytime I do like using it both day and night and I really do recommend it if you're interested in these particular ingredients and then the next cream that has bakuchiol in it is the renew cream from Iolette this is such a beautiful cream if you have followed me for a while now you know that I am just in love with her creams I love this one which is renew opulence has also been a favorite for many years now price wise this is actually quite reasonable it is $65 for 50 mils 1.7 ounces so the price per mil is actually really quite reasonable when it comes to comparison wise with some of these other products it also has keke oil in it which some people also refer to keke oil as one of those botanical retinols retinol alternatives and that's because it is very high in vitamin a there's also meadow foam seed oil in here as well as rose hip seed oil and rosehip seed oil is another one of those oils that's really high in vitamin A. As you can see here, the texture is just beautiful. It kind of has that more conventional feeling of like a night cream, which I really love and I really crave. Like I just love that silky, smooth, creamy feeling that you get from a cream such as this. It smells beautiful. I love the texture. I just love absolutely everything about it. And like I said, I do think it is a very reasonable price. So I highly recommend checking out both of these creams the opulence as well as the renew but specifically renew if you are looking for bakuchiol in your skincare so now we're gonna move on to moth bean moth bean is an extract from the moth bean legume which is indigenous to India and Pakistan so moth bean is rich in proteins antioxidants and phenolic compounds it is going to encourage cellular renewal decrease fine lines increase collagen production sensitive skin can tolerate this ingredient it's not going to be photosensitizing like retinoids are. As I was mentioning, those phenolic compounds, those specifically are caffeic acid, cinnamonic acid, 
ferulic acid as well as camphorol. And these phenolic compounds that I just mentioned are very powerful antioxidants and they're going to help protect your skin from environmental damage and UV rays in particular. Moth bean has also been shown to inhibit melanin production, which is something also that Bakuchiel does as well and inhibits uh, melanin production. So that's actually going to help you with hyperpigmentation. I have three products here before me that I use regularly. I absolutely love and they all contain moth bean. I'm going to start with Live Botanicals Illuminating Exfoliating Serum. You've probably heard me talk about this many times on my channel. It's $38 for 30 mils, so very, very reasonably priced. It also has green tea hydrosol in here along with the moth bean, and I'm pretty sure that the green tea hydrosol is in-house made by Live Botanical. It's got willow bark extract, marshmallow root, and lactic acid. So that combination of lactic acid and moth bean is completely up my alley. You'll see that the texture here is almost like a very thick watery essence and it absorbs into the skin really quickly. I love that about it. I mean, you guys know that I love my like emulsion type serums, but I also love more watery serums that just soak into the skin right away and then put an emulsion type product on top of it. I love that combination. I love this product and I really can't speak highly enough about it. The next one that I want to talk about is the Lil Fox Dewy Bean Dream. This is $110 for 50 mils, so it is a little bit more on the expensive side. So I really love the ingredients in the Dewy Bean Dream. It has niacinamide in addition to the moth bean, and niacinamide is great for decreasing hyperpigmentation, overall brightening, protecting your skin barrier, being anti-inflammatory. It's just a great ingredient. Uh, it also has lactic acid and glycolic acid. Now, glycolic acid can be kind of drying and irritating for me, but I have not had that experience with this particular product. You'll see that the texture is a little bit thicker than the Live Botanical Illuminating Serum. Um, it kind of has almost a gel texture, so I really do prefer to use this at nighttime because there is a little bit of a tackiness to the texture uh, that I really don't mind, and it's not a deal breaker for me at all, but in terms of texture, I prefer to use non-tacky you know, serums and emulsions in the morning, and then if I really love a product a lot but it is on the tacky side, I will tend to use that at nighttime because I don't really have to worry about about, you know how it's going to play with you know foundation or sunscreen on top of it I love the effects of this I really love using it in conjunction with Josh Rosebrook's uh, daily acid toner the two of those work really really well together and I'm just super impressed by this product and I love it so much that I actually purchased another backup uh, during the Black Friday sale that the clean beauty box was having um, you always get 15% off if you sub to the clean beauty box but over the Black Friday I think they either did 20 or 20 25% off. So I picked up a backup because I don't want to be without it. And then finally, I am really, really loving the Sahara Rose Serum. This is their Hydra C Serum. This is $54 for 30 mils. It is on pre-order. I forgot to mention that in my last video because I talked about this in my recent PR video, but it is on pre-order. So definitely sign up if you're interested in getting it. So in addition to the moth bean, this has vitamin C, ceramides, peptides, and licorice, and licorice is a really good skin brightener. The texture on this one is kind of right in the middle between the uh, Lib Botanical Illuminating Serum and the Dewy Bean Dream. It's a little bit thicker than the Lib Botanical Serum. Um, it is not tacky at all. It absorbs really quickly and plays really well with any product I've ever put on top of it. I'm super impressed by this product. I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, once I found out that it had moth bean in it as well as the vitamin C, I was super excited for that combination and I've really been loving this serum a lot. In terms of making a recommendation for just one of these products, if you're interested in checking out Moth Bean or Bakuchiel, it really depends upon your needs and clearly how much you're willing to spend. If you just want to check out Bakuchiel, you've never tried it before, and you're intrigued, I would definitely recommend the Bybee because at $10 for 15 mils, you really can't beat that price. As I mentioned, the Earthwise Beauty Black Locust Firming Concentrate is the most expensive when it comes to per mil cost. 
But with Ava, you know the sourcing is going to be beautiful, ethical. She uses all uh, unrefined cold pressed oils. So if you want kind of that herbalism background, that herbalism foundation coming from your formulator, I can't recommend Ava highly enough. If you want that kind of vibe and you're interested in moth bean, then obviously I recommend Carolyn. Carolyn's amazing. She is the founder and creator of Live Botanical. If you are looking for a product that has vitamin C and Bacuchiol, then I would definitely go for the AO Raw Nurture PM treatment, which I do feel like can be used night and day for sure, not just in the PM. If you want something that has both vitamin C and moth bean, then I would look at the Sahara Rose. Like I said, I am just really, really enjoying this beautiful serum. And then if you would like to have a product that's actually created by an Ayurvedic practitioner, since like I was saying, Bakuchiol is an ingredient that has been used in Ayurvedic medicine for hundreds of years. So if you want that wealth of knowledge behind your formulations, then I would definitely check out the Pratima one. I really, really wish that the scent and I agreed with each other a little bit more. But as I was saying, if you're the winner of the giveaway, I am more than happy to send this to you. And then beyond these products that I have here before me, I am really intrigued by two specifically that I've never tried. I really do want to try the Maya Chia Straight A. I don't know if that's a serum or kind of an emulsion, but it's got retinol, bakuchiol, and moth bean in it. Um, it's quite expensive. It's $125 for 30 mils. So I'm not going to buy that yet until I'm done pretty much with the majority of the products that I just talked about, but I am really intrigued by that. I don't know if I've heard of any other product that has moth bean and bakuchiol in it. If you have, please let me know. And then I'm also really interested in the Alpine Beauty Cream. I've never tried anything from Alpine Beauty. I am interested in them. If you have experience with the brand, definitely let me know. Uh, but this one has bakuchiol, vitamin C, and ceramide. So I am pretty intrigued by that formula, especially since it is a cream. I have actually used the Graydon Full Moon Serum. I think that's around $88. So I did use that one and I didn't really notice much of an effect. I didn't really notice as big of a difference with that product for some reason than I do with these others. I don't know if it's because these others have lactic acid in it as well or vitamin C which kind of like potentiate the effects probably of all the ingredients in them, all the actives. But yeah, I, do, I don't know. I just didn't really get on with the Graydon, uh, what is it, the Full Moon Serum. But if you have and you love it, please tell us about your experience below. If you have any other product recommendations that have moth bean in it or bakuchiol, please do let me know. Please let the other viewers know. I am really interested to know what else you guys have found out uh, in the green beauty space or beyond that have moth bean in it. So now's the time for me to talk to you about what I have in the giveaway, which features one of my most favorite brands. I have a travel size of her muscle and chest balm. So this is just like a sample travel size. I don't know if this product is live on the website or if it's limited edition, but it's super special and I'm really excited to share it with one of you. I also have the Live Botanical Brightening Oil Serum. And of course, all of these are new and unused. This has been a longtime favorite of mine. I absolutely love it. And then I also have the Live Botanical Moon Cycle Balm. This was part of the limited edition box that Boxwalla did with Live Botanical. I have a pretty generous travel size that Carolyn gave me, so I want to share this with one of you guys since I already have it. And then last but not least, this is not Live Botanical. This is Eugenia Shea. This is their grapefruit shea butter. I talked about the lavender one in my favorites of body care. So I'm really excited for one of you guys to try this because I really love the lavender one. And so I also decided to get the grapefruit, which I did not dive into. It is for you. And then, like I said, whoever does win the giveaway, if you want the Pratima Bakuchiol serum, I'm more than happy to give this to you. It has been used, obviously. I've opened up, but because it is a dropper, I feel like it's pretty sanitary, but I understand if somebody does doesn't want to receive that. But anyway, that is everything in the giveaway. And then as far as entering the giveaway, you need to subscribe to me here on YouTube, like this video, leave me a comment below with your email address or your Instagram account. And then I always post the winner over on my Instagram stories. And in that comment, if you want to let me know what Bakuchiol product you love, what moth bean product you love, what retinoid you love, or what video you'd like to see from me. Um, specifically, are you guys interested in the whole 
30 idea and me talking about that and my process with it or any other ideas you have. I am super receptive to ideas from you all. I'm kind of toying with the idea of maybe doing a Q&A. I've only ever done one of those, I think. It was maybe like two years ago, so it's been a while. So thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your love and support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.